In some ways, the world feels like the future is already here. Like you're watching this over a global network of computers that would have seemed impossibly fast to somebody 50 years ago. So I was thinking, what is the world going to look like in the next 50 years? And how will birds be doing then? So let's look into the future and make some predictions about the year 2070. The population of birds in the U.S. and Canada has declined by 3 billion birds in the last 50 years, or about 25%. In 2070, the world's human population will be higher. From the 7.9 billion people alive today, the United Nations estimates that there will be just over 10 billion people. All these people will have to eat, so we will expand our farmland and find ways to get more production per acre. And all these people have to live somewhere, so we will build new cities and infrastructure to support them. None of this is good for bird populations. My prediction? Overall bird populations will continue to decline over the next 50 years. We lost a quarter of all birds in North America in the last 50 years, and I think that trend will accelerate. Maybe we'll lose an additional third of all living birds. This decline will be spread out differently among different species, so some resilient and adaptable species will increase while the majority of species decline and some go extinct forever. The Potential Game Changers I think it's very likely that agricultural robotics will allow farms to be more productive with fewer side effects. Instead of spraying fertilizer and pesticides everywhere, a robot can check each plant and see what it needs. Agricultural robotics can also allow several crops to grow together, and maybe, just maybe, allow farms to include habitat for wildlife without losing productivity. Or maybe cities are changed to allow wildlife to live alongside people. This could help some bird populations to stabilize. Climate change is on pace to raise the average global temperature by 5 degrees Fahrenheit by the year 2070, even if all countries abide by the Paris Agreement. The human species will survive this because we are adaptable, but look for more extreme weather events, or as they will be called in 2070, normal weather events, like hurricanes, floods, and droughts. People will migrate out of areas as they become unlivable. Birds can migrate too, but the plants they depend on for food and shelter cannot migrate quickly enough. My prediction is that rapid change will cause some bird populations to increase as new habitat becomes available. But for species that rely on specialist plants or certain conditions to thrive, the next 50 years is going to be really rough, and some of them will go extinct. People are pretty good at responding to immediate, obvious crises. So when immediate, obvious effects of climate change become apparent, people may be inspired to fix things quickly. My guess is they will use something like seeding the ocean with iron to encourage plankton to soak up excess carbon dioxide. Invasive species. People have been shuffling animals around for thousands of years, and yet 37% of all recorded non-native species were introduced in the last 50 years. Trends like international trade and travel are accelerating. My prediction is that you can definitely expect more new invasive species in the next 50 years. I'm going to predict that by the year 2070, the red-billed quelia will have moved out of Africa to become a common invasive species in every continent on the world, except Antarctica. It's already the most numerous wild bird in the world just living on one continent, so it will definitely be the most numerous wild bird in the world when it lives on every continent. Potential game changer. Countries may start investing in protection of their native wildlife. Australia and New Zealand are models that show how culture can shift this way, and they're clearing invasive species and actively protecting wildlife. AI research of bird behavior and communication is set to take off in the next 50 years. We have weatherproof trail cameras and bird sensor packages and computer neural networks. All the pieces are in place for mass observation of bird society at the individual and cultural level. We're just waiting for someone to go out and do it.
My prediction is that we'll discover that birds have complex inner mental states and emotions. We're also going to learn what birds are saying with their songs. In birds like ravens and parrots, I think we'll discover language. And through computer translation, we may gain the rudimentary level to communicate in their language the same way that they can communicate in our language. Potential game changer. A special bird in just the right conditions learns to interact with its computer observer. They develop surprising conversational skill, and we, through the computer, gain the ability to talk with a bird and ask it what it's like to be a bird. In a recent survey, 6% of people have a pet bird. 3.5 million U.S. households have a pet bird, which has held pretty steady over the last 20 years. Brazil has almost as many pet birds right now as people. The number of people who watch birds in the United States has more than tripled since the early 1980s. Especially fast-growing are the number of backyard birders. And more than 40% of U.S. households feed birds. My prediction is that the number of people who appreciate birds will increase over the next 50 years, especially among people who are just starting to learn how amazing birds are. Potential Game Changer a cultural shift toward green space and wildlife corridors in cities could increase the number of interactions between humans and birds, leading to a large increase in the number of people who want to learn about and appreciate birds. I read this book one time that said it's really hard to predict 50 years in the future because there may be enormous changes in technology, but the people are mostly going to be the same people. Considering how much change is coming in our lifetimes, the next 50 years is going to be an incredible and historic time to be alive. I hope that by looking forward, we're all inspired to make that future a little better. Thanks for learning. You can subscribe to know when future videos come out. Or you can appreciate birds more by watching another video on this channel. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.